hey guys i'm back another video um so uh, as you can see i'm mixing resin i'm doing resin geode pour wall clock so this is a wood panel it's purchased in a pack of two from michael's um so i did tape the back just kind of bordered the wood piece i'm um, stirring the resin i'm um, getting that ready you'll see me multitasking or trying to <laughs> Yeah, so what I did to prime the wood is I put a layer of gesso on it, and this was clear gesso, so it's supposed to dry clear. Um, and I basically just wanted to make sure that when I do pour the resin, um, it's not going to kind of get absorbed in the wood, you know, or I wanted to make sure that the wood was going to be protected where it wouldn't wilt or anything else. Don't laugh at me when you see me multitasking. You'll see, like, my hand motions were just a mess. <laughs> I look crazy. Tell me how crazy I look. Tell me in the comments how crazy I look. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I'm still mixing the resin. And I was using Promarine um, tabletop resin. I think it's called tabletop resin. Promarine epoxy resin. Um, I'll have a link for it in the description box. Um, and honestly, I've been trying all kinds of resin. Like, I usually don't purchase the same resin twice unless um, I really like it. Uh, one that I really did like, I have to get the brand, but I purchased it on Walmart.com. And it took a little bit of time to get, maybe about almost two weeks, but it was really worth it and it lasted for me. And it didn't cause too many bubbles um, so I'll put that in the description um, another one that I really like is um, the all you might amazing clear cast resin I think you can find that at Michaels they only have like the smaller sizes like this you know this two part 16 ounce ones but I really do like that resin that has almost no bubbles it's insane um, so yeah so I'm just stirring the resin trying to smear the gesso all over the wood panel just to make sure that's protected i was a mess on this um <laughs> on this i for me when i want to pour resin i want to do it immediately and sometimes i don't prepare my workstation i just start so this was kind of one of those times i didn't i should have you know primed my wood panel and then made sure I had all my supplies and then mixed the resin but in true ja jasmine fashion it did not work like that so I'm just making sure that the entire panel is covered still stirring because um, this resin I know I had to stir that for at least three to four minutes so still stirring and it's funny my like paint strokes with the gesso and me stirring the resin are like the same <laughs> that's me plugging up my heat gun because again I was not prepared and I'm basically trying to speed up the process for drying um, but at the same time I'm using a heat gun on wood so I'm definitely using a low setting and trying to move it consistently um, I just wanted to get it at least tacky where I could uh, put a, my layer of white paint over it and it's not you know um, meshing in together and merging so I'm just drying the gesso on the wood panel. And if you're gathering supplies, what you'll need, of course, is resin. Um, for this, I believe I mixed about 500 milliliters. So it would have been 250 milliliters per part um, A and B. And then my wood panel, I got it in a pack of two from Michael. And that's a 16 by 20 size painter's tape to tape the back if that's what you choose um, and then containers for your different colored resin um, gesso white paint whatever you're going to use to prime your wood ahead of time and then of course your geode crystals which i use crushed glass the crushed glass in the top right corner is gold and crystal um, that's actually from walmart.com as well it's called fire pit crushed glass so they're huge chunks um, usually i like to use i would only use the michael's crushed glass um, and then it was so difficult to find that michael's crushed glass like i would look everywhere like just about every week i was online checking which stores had it and it was like none and when they did have it and you know i placed the order for like pickup or delivery i couldn't get it they either had realized they sold out and it was still showing online or whatever so um definitely if you are able to get the michael's crush glass 
sauce like get all of them off the shelf because as far as i know the customer service rep told me they were seasonal so get as much as you can so yeah crush glass got your pigments um your primer resin board so i'm going over it with just white paint i'm just painting my base white and it, for me i feel like it makes the colors pop even more um they look more bold and opaque and just they stand out more when they're on that white base so that's what I'm doing but now I'm just going ahead and splitting up the resin into the separate cups um, so I'm using a, a Liquitex copper acrylic ink um, white pigment concentrate um, mica powder and gold and yellow acrylic paint. So I'm drying my panel, making sure everything um, isn't completely wet. It's probably wet in some areas, but not too bad. Okay, so now I'm putting the pigment into the cups and make sure, if, especially if you're using feel like acrylic paints you have to really make sure that you're mixing really well because they will there will be streaks of pigment if you don't mix you know well enough there so adding my white okay and now I'm getting my gold pigment and you don't need too much honestly a little bit goes a long way but I love this gold. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I like how it looks like lava or like molten. It's molten or molten, I think. And then this is copper. This is, and it comes with a dropper because it's an ink. So um, this one a little bit kind of goes a long way too. So I'm not trying to use too much, but I do want to make sure that this is as pigmented as the gold because this is also gonna be like an accent color. Grabbing a popsicle stick, making sure there are no pigment streaks, that it's mixed well and evenly. And I do still have some, a little bit of resin left in my cup, my container, just in case I need to add to any color or add on top of my geode. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring. I'm starting with yellow. And now looking at it, it looks like egg yolk. Uh, but you can do it in whatever pattern, pour in whatever pattern you want. I, I'm not really pouring in a pattern per se, just whatever looks good for my eye then. Going in with a copper, such a rich color too. And now gold. Now looking back, I wish I would have added some kind of cool color with these um, I have a lot of warm going on so adding like a cool color like a deep navy or um, like a deep purple or something but it came out really pretty so regardless and like I mentioned I do um, I work in different techniques so I work in what's best for what I'm doing at the moment and I know that's confusing but and some place, some projects that I do, like trays, I think it's easier for me to go ahead and select my geode and put it down first and, um, you know, pour the resin around it. Whereas my paintings, I kind of want to let, let my paintings decide where the geode should go, if that makes sense. Um, and not all of them, of course, but just for certain ones, you know, how I'm pouring in this particular one, I felt like I didn't want to necessarily select the geode beforehand I was gonna go ahead and pour see where there was some balance that needed to be created and add my geode there I'm just trying to fill in some gaps um, I don't want any pieces of the board showing so at this point I'm trying to fill in all the space while still making sure that my colors are being well balanced throughout the piece.
so now I'm adding my geode crystals um, I'm adding them to fill in the white space so again these are the fire pit glass they're so they're big chunks um, usually I would do the big chunks like here as you see me placing them and then I would put the Michaels crush glass which is smaller that would fill in the gaps but as I said before somewhere probably on this video um, the Michaels crush glass is so hard to find so again if you find any take them all sorry that's me finding more little acrylic gems to put on I have these really cute small ones um, especially when I didn't have the Michaels crush glass I had to um, compensate with something else so I have these um, smaller acrylic gems that I purchased off of Amazon um, I have actually all sizes like really huge acrylic gems that are from Michaels and then I have these like small um, small little ones that kind of resemble cubic zirconias um, that I got from Amazon and then I do start placing a few of um, cubic zirconias from um, Dion Kapoor's shop um, and these are really pretty they look like little diamonds as they should um, and they add some bling and then these are also called cubic zirconia at Michaels um, they have a silver back so I really try to make sure that when I place them I'm placing them so that silver back is not showing especially if I'm using like gold and you know like copper metallic -y kind of colors I don't know for me I don't like mixing the silver and gold but um, yeah so I'm placing them strategically making sure that the silver back is not showing um, and then placing some more gems and these are the bigger acrylic gems I've actually gotten these from Amazon and Michaels so I place those down trying to strate strategically place the cubic zirconia ones too and so right now I'm just drizzling the little bit of resin I have over um, the geode to make sure that those crystals are secured crystals and crushed glass because although I am placing it on top of resin where that would secure it, there are some that are kind of um, mounded on top like a mountain. So those aren't touching the resin. So I want to make sure that they're touching some kind of resin. Adding some more crushed glass, just trying to fill in that blank area there. Pulling from my stash, my cubic zirconia. That's my little baggie of them. And I used the last of them on that. over the geo just to make sure everything is secure since I did add some pieces after the fact and I'm just trying to use every bit of resin that I have I don't want to waste any so using every bit I'm just going back through adding crystals crushed glass wherever I see fit wherever it looks like there's some empty space or gaps and then just covering it with um, resin not necessarily covering, I should say drizzle, drizzling resin over. Okay. And um, and this part is not on camera, but I did a heat gun just to get out any bubbles and to move um, the colors around a bit after this. And what I did next was actually um, next day, I went in with my line work, which is basically acrylic paint markers and um, a glitter mix. So I mixed resin and glitter and put it into a syringe. Um, and then I just made it a little bit more interesting, made my piece more interesting by adding some lines, some places that your eyes can follow. Um, and I did this with um, gold glitter. So gold glitter and resin put into a syringe after it's mixed 
just squeeze it onto the wood panel and then the acrylic paint markers were my line work um, and it's optional but what you can do after is you can actually seal that again after that cures with a clear coat of resin not really touching the geode but more so covering all of the um, all of the line work that you did sealing that in all of the glitter lines sealing that in um, and then the last very last step of this of course is the clock piece so I had my husband drill a hole um, he um, went ahead and installed the clock kit we purchased that from Walmart it was like about five six dollars um, or something around that and um, it came with like the numbers it came with um, the hands so like the second hand minute hand hour um, and uh, yeah so I used e6000 glue to glue the numbers to uh, my wood panel once it was completely cured after he had drilled in the, the piece or section that he needed and that's what you see here so it came out really cute um, it's huge too so definitely try it if you can thank you so much for watching guys